Yo, what up guys? I Reapism here, and welcome back to another video. Now, you probably remember this world, you probably don't, who knows, but this was my first raised test world. But something very important I want to get straight into here is that movement speed in raise. So, we have abilities, as you can see on the screen, uh, in their progressions, that allow for higher movement speed, like Aerox, for example. He gains movement speed passively, um, and those are percentages. So basically guys, without walking, um, basically I have a 10 hertz clock um, hitting this command block constantly and it's going to keep disposing uh, items in here and we get to count it after the test. This is to stop it, this is to start it. Now there's a little bit of delay here, but it's taken into account with all calculations so it's just included. So maybe plus or minus 0.2 seconds would get the exact amount. But other than that, um, we'll just rest. Start, we'll add that into our calculation. So here we go. So without anything, it's going to take 22 blocks, as you can see right in here. It's going to say 22. Now we're going to just put it back in there. And we're going to hold our first item. It has 25%. This is 50. This is 75, 100. Now here's 50. Um, you will actually notice a difference. It's going to decrease by a lot actually. So now it's 18. Um, we're going to do that again because I believe I got it to 17. And this is while sprinting, by the way. Um, yeah, it seems pretty stable on 18 actually. So we're going to go to 50%. We're going to sprint. We're going to stop. 15. Okay, so it is decreasing by three. So I was um, was mistaken. I didn't do the test actually accurately. Um, this might have to do with me recording actually because it wasn't doing this before. So now thirteen and one hundred percent is eleven. Hmm. Anyways, you take 11 and you divide by 2 because this is a 10 hertz clock, right? So we get 5.5 seconds, all right? So that, that's the calculation. So in order to run 24 blocks, it takes 5.5 seconds um, with uh, the 100% movement speed. Now, let me tell you something. The only thing that moves this fast is Aerox, and that's when he's on the horse. So if we take a look at the ability stats, once again... You can clearly see Aerox passively can only move 25% faster. So he's going to move like this. And basically, he's going to be able to outrun some things with this. Now remember, he's able to kind of... This is a little bit different. So he's able to... He has like backward speed, right? Like this. And he's able to dodge a lot of abilities this way. Um, so it is helpful. And on top of his horse it's going to make him very fast. Now remember, you saw the horse stats 350% faster. Um, those numbers may, might decrease a lot now that I know this information. Those numbers were just pulled out of nowhere um, because I wasn't sure of the numbers, the test. So here's a test and yeah, so this is information for everyone now, is it? Hey, what up guys? We are back in the raise world and I have a lot to show you. So let's begin quickly with this um, this is a mock-up for the class selection area the physical class selection where you stand in these cells and you have the menu in your inventory and you select your class now we actually built some of that so I'm going to show you that um, and also some other updates as well so we've been hard at work I've been working on rays as much as I could you know with work and school but let's take a look at something so we're gonna randomize our teams I'm blue. And we're gonna start game. It's gonna ask everyone to lock in. But obviously we don't have uh, 10 people to do this. So I'm just gonna simulate it like that. And there we go. We have the inventory. Now let me show you guys something. It has selected me. Well, I've not been elected. So as you can see, I'm dropping these items and nothing's happening. There we go. Yeah, I, I just need, I reset my scores and therefore I didn't have a score. 
for something but there you go reaper has been selected i drop it nothing happens i drop these i can't select another class so yeah with all that away this is something i've been working on uh this is a very very mock-up design for essentially a new ability and this might be cropper's ultimate ability or um, a standard ability for the the new classes coming out and um be just i'm throwing this out there it might seem op but it, it's just a concept so just pay attention to the concept basically you drop an item and it lifts them up in slow motion and drops them and they're on fire till death so that's pretty awesome so that ability worked with a radius of 30. Now I've switched it to a radius of 10. And now you can see there's a little bit more uh, skill, I guess, involved. So those didn't get activated. But then if you really shorten it, like this, for example, 3 to 3, it's really going to take um, some skill to properly aim this. Now, obviously, they're in a row. But only gonna work for that and then you see how they slightly got hovered over or they hovered over this guy now watch as I throw the item and they get lifted up much higher than before so basically all you have to do is drop an item and you can adjust this completely however you want and you see how the item disappears after it's out of range and it works from the height you use it so that's very important that's really cool and yeah that's how it works. It's only, what, seven command blocks to this, excluding the fill clock. Um, yeah, I've added a sound. I've added, like, a bug-free way of how it works. This is only seven command blocks. Most likely, I'm not going to use seven command blocks. I'm probably going to use, like, 25. So you can just imagine the complexity of an ability in Raze. This is my ability to you. See, so yeah, I want to talk about a topic I was mentioning in earlier in the video uh, about like speed and all that. That is a really interesting, and I really want to explain to you guys how this kind of system works. This is really cool uh, to me, at least. Um, but basically, as I type this command, I want you to hear me out here. Um, so speed is controlled by variable. So you're gonna have a variable called speed and a variable called slow and stun. Now how these work is if you have, let's say, a score of 20 for stun, you're stunned for one second. 20 ticks in a second, therefore you're stunned for one second. Now I can change this whenever I want. Let's say um, I want a score of 5 for stun to be one second, I just need a 5 hertz clock. Um, so yeah, that's basically how it works. Um, so the armor.head is what I'm looking for. And we're going to make a barrier. And we're just going to do some more commands here. But basically, I forgot it doesn't fit in the command block. But here's a command. And I got it from a website. I'll leave it in the description. Um, but basically, as you can see, I'm, I have speed. Now, everyone in the game is going to have a barrier in their head slot. And that's going to determine your speed. Now, it's going to give you an item. It's going to keep giving you a barrier if you have a particular score. So, for example, I'm now slowed. I have a slow score of 30. It's going to give me another barrier um, that uh, reduces my speed. Um, so, yeah, basically, slow reduces speed, and speed increases speed. Did that make any sense? I, I don't know if I said that correctly, but basically, um, as of thinking about it right now, I had actually had two scores. One called slow and one called uh, speed. But I'm actually thinking about it. It's very logical to just add uh, a, um, a abil or uh, just one called speed and then subtract a score and add a score. And whatever the score is, it'll handle it with this barrier. So ba basically, this barrier is going to be replaced in your inventory constantly. And it's going to adjust your speed based on an ability used on you. So dynamic speed without even without even opening your inventory and seeing effects. Like you're not gonna see effects. So that's the way I'm dealing with it. And basically you can't see the item, it doesn't render as a barrier. 
in your head even if you hover over it it doesn't uh, highlight it so yeah it's pretty awesome so that's another way to dynamically affect the player speed without them even knowing that it's happening unfortunately you cannot modify entities like a player speed with the attribute so this is why I use a score and then the score determines the movement of the player so there's a separate system running saying if this guy's score speed is 50 oh he just got slowed minus 30 from this guy so we're gonna minus 30 now it's 20 we're gonna give him the item of 20 movement speed you understand what I'm saying the movement speed is handled completely separately so I'm getting around everything I really need to to make raise raise but yeah, other than that, guys, I've been having a lot of fun with Raze, man. It's so much fun to work on this map. Um, I only have a few days a week I can... Basically, it's three days a week I can really work on Raze. Um, maybe six days on the weekends where I can wake up earlier to work on Raze, but that doesn't necessarily happen because I'm just tired from work. But um, yeah, I, I'll be able to work on raids more often. And basically, I'm off today and tomorrow, so I'm trying to record as frequently as I can to keep the videos going for you guys. So yeah, um, raids videos have been slowing. I've been slowing in videos recently because I'm getting, you know, I have a job now. Um, if YouTube was my job, obviously this wouldn't happen, but it's not. So yeah, um, yeah, I have to work, you know. <laughs> So yeah, I work full time, so it's really hard to stay on top of YouTube as well. And especially when you use most of your time on that computer to just work on Raze and play Smite. It's very hard. You just have to understand this. Like, there, I go to school, I go home, I go to work, I come home, don't have time for a computer that day, so I just go on the iPad and watch Netflix. There's not much room, so when I'm off, I work on Raze like I am today. And if I do have time, I do record which I'm doing right now. So very tight schedule, but I'm managing to do it. And with the help of these, it's really coming together. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Peace out, everyone, and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. That's where I mostly engage the conversation while I'm not active on YouTube. Take care, everyone. Peace out now.